Nice of you, Tiger. We have to go. Waller told me to stay here. There's an incoming drone strike. How contemporary. Get your team clear. So he knows. It is time for you to go. Yeah, that's right. It is time. And this is my way to go. He wants to die. Suicide squad, remember? I'm expendable, John. You got the damn bomb in my head to prove it. This way, at least I get to go out doing something honorable. You don't get to die that easy, Lawton. Really? Why don't you give me even just one good reason why not? Huh? A kid. Zoe. The drone shifted course. It's following us. <laughs> it's him. What a woman. How do you think she knew where to send a drone, huh? And Damn. I know the precise coordinates. Implants. Um, and GPS. Clever, right? The drone ain't targeting Golem's house. It's targeting me. What a bitch. Oh, hang on. Do I get to You're gonna cut it out. What are you doing? Like, look, I think I'm not gonna get blown up. Hold still. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm not the one to send that drone. It was yeah. Cold. An explosion atop a chemical weapons cache is easy to explain. Instead, there were witnesses, and we had to send in a SEAL team to clean out the estate. I guess you would think twice before dragging me in to do your dirty work, Walter. Somehow, I don't think it will be an issue. Good day, Mr. Diggle. Kind of uncanny how Diggle knew exactly where Lawton's implant was. Still, it exposed an obvious design flaw. We'll be putting the implants in their spinal vertebrae now. Have Lawton and the others prep for surgery. I don't like this Amanda chick. She's a bitch. What about us, Johnny? Last night, the man who killed my brother showed more character than the woman charged with protecting the world. Good and bad, it's not so clear to me. One thing I do know for sure, black and white, is that I can't ever lose you again. Something we agree on. I came by to take Sarah to dinner. Do you care to join? I'd love to, but I need to go see an old friend. Okay. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Amanda. Still mad at me? Lucky for you, you've been pushed down that list. Really? Who do you want to kill more than me? Slade Wilson is alive. You killed him. It's not possible. Everything is possible where Slade is concerned. And I need your help to find him. I might have something. What? There's a new player we've been tracking, mercenary. He's left a trail of bodies from Macau to Istanbul to Lisbon. A trail that leads right here to Starling. We've been calling him Deathstroke. Okay. Well. Okay. Um, so Oliver knows Amanda. I don't know how. Um maybe from this time on the island, I guess. I mean they don't have like a loving relationship. Uh because okay, if I'm not wrong which I probably am. Amanda is the woman that fires. I think that's how you say his name. Was talking to on the island before he was killed. Um, because the red shoes, she's got the red high heels as well. So, I don't know. I mean, they have a past history. I don't know how. She knows Slade, thought he was dead. Um, and now there's a new player, uh, Deathstroke. I don't know who that is. Is that Slade? Didn't look like his outfit that we saw him in. Looked like something else. So, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I like the episode. Sorry, my microphone is in the 
camera. I did not even know that until now. So that's probably in every video I've done tonight, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so I enjoyed the episode. So we got to see the Suicide Squad. We had Tiger, Shrapnel, and Deadshot, and uh, Diggle, I guess, and Lila. Um, Shrapnel didn't last long. He didn't want to be a team player and uh, got his head blown up for it, I guess. Uh, Deadshot seemed pretty okay with being killed at the end. Uh, Diggle talked him out of it. I thought that was really shitty that I didn't understand why she needed Deadshot to stay. Like, it didn't make sense. They found it. Why did he have to stay? Because at, at first when she, when she said that, I thought she was going to blow him up because they all have bombs in their heads, right? So it made sense then that she was going to blow him up and destroy the uh, nerve agent, whatever. Uh, but then that's not even what they were going to do. And I was like, well, why does he even have to be there at all? But apparently they were going to, they, he was being targeted. Like the bomb in his head had GPS in it. And that's how they were going to be able to hit the uh, uh, nerve stuff and uh, all that. But Lila cut it out and it blew up nothing. So they had to take care of it a different way, which did not make Amanda happy. And um, Diggle took the blame for the uh, taking the bomb out. Uh, I don't think Amanda bought it, but, you know, they, she can't say otherwise, you know. And uh, so now they're going to move the bombs to their spinal column, I guess. So, yeah, that's not good. Uh, you can't cut them out that way, not without risk killing or paralyzing them or whatever. So, which kind of actually makes me feel bad for the the bad guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was worried for Ditcha. I didn't want him to die. I don't. I, I remember when we first met him, I wanted him to die, and we thought he did die, but then you know he didn't. Uh, but you know, I kind of liked Deadshot, and uh, yeah, so I was kind of upset that they might um, kill him, but they didn't. So, not yet, anyway. Um. But yeah, so I mean, Oliver spent a lot of time just uh, obsessing over finding Slade and pushing people away, burning bridges, and Slade killed the Russian guy. I don't know why. Why would Oliver care? Uh, the guy didn't want anything to do with Oliver anymore after Oliver did what he did. So that bridge was burned, so it didn't really make any sense, but whatever. Um... Yeah, so uh, Oliver at the end finally decided to stop pushing Sarah away. And, uh, you know, because like she said, it wouldn't make a difference to Slade whether they're together or not. Because in his crazy mind, it's Sarah's fault that uh, Shadow's dead. And it's Oliver's fault that Shadow's dead instead of the person who actually killed Shadow. Um but whatever, like I said in the previous video, I believe the whole storyline is stupid. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.